Hi guys. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the S-Box Ghost Scanner. Yes, I know, there's quite a few videos out there showing the S-Box Ghost Scanner and what it can do. Only, there's not that many videos out there that show you how to use it if you're going to do EVP session. EVPs are different to Ghost Box. Obviously, the Ghost Box is turned on, so you can have a sweep going on when you're doing the Ghost Box session. An EVP is when you're in a quiet room and you're just recording. So you ask your questions, you sit in quiet, you ask the questions, you sit in quiet, see if the spirits can come through to you that way. That's an EVP. The two are totally different to each other. So I'll be showing you how to do an EVP on here later on. As you can see, it is a little bit bigger than the PSP7. Not much. There's not much in it, actually. I could put both those devices in my pocket and um, just grab them as and when I needed them without any problem at all. It wouldn't overload my pockets, it wouldn't weigh me down. Nice and light. Made of plastic, not metal. So if you did drop it, you'd probably stand a good chance of damaging it. Now this is the PSP7T, the speaker on here has been greatly enhanced, so you don't need to have an external speaker, great. The S-Box also has a brilliant speaker, absolutely brilliant, so you don't need to have an external speaker for the S-Box either. It has a massive great aerial, comes right out there, I reckon that aerial has got to be two and a half times maybe three times the length of the s-box massive great aerial and it just slots down there nice and cozy in the bank there on the back you'll find this little part here that's me knocking the s-box over got this part here that's just tab and it's on the wrist strap but it doubles as a stand just start in that groove doubles as a stand and just in there, that's your battery, just in there. Now, the beauty of this device is that's a rechargeable battery. So you can just charge it up. Nice charge would probably do you definitely a, a little lighter. Definitely. Probably three, actually. It lasts forever. Right, across the top here. Just here, we have the on-off button. Next to that is the volume control. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe you can see it. It's just there, it's a dial. Here is where the SD card goes in. Now you can only put in a 32 GB SD card in there, SD card. 32 GB is enough. I got 16 in that one. That's more than enough what I want. Come around the corner and we find we've got torch just here. That uh, comes on even without turning on the device. That white light there, that will turn to red when you come to charge it. Here, that's your headphone socket. Just there. This is where a USB port is. Use that to transfer your files over to your laptop. Next to all that is a charging port. Then you come down to the front and you've got eight buttons. Going from left to right across the top. This button here, the first sweep. Also, it um, makes your sweep rate drop. You've got four different sweep rates on here, four different speeds. This will make it go down from the fastest. That's your start button ready for your sweep rate. That makes your sweep rate go up. Makes it faster. Um, I'll, I'll be showing you all this once it's turned on. This is your menu. That's your torch button there. Record button. 
That's your delete button if you want to delete anything. This is your folder button there. So it's all pretty straightforward. When you turn it on, you'll find that it can be a bit noisy. I've got in the habit, I'll just turn it on with the volume turned right down. Box. Scanning FM. There you go. That's the default. Comes out scanning FM. I'll just run through this first. Scanning AM. So you've got AM. Line in. Line in is good because you can actually use a speaker on a different device. So say if I'm saying you wanted to run, oh, I don't know, your mobile through here or something like that then you could do quite easily. Bluetooth. Bluetooth, self-explanatory. Connect it to a speaker, whatever you want to do. But basically, you don't need to use the speaker because um, the speaker that comes in the device is ample. Playback. Scanning. FM. That went through quite quickly, didn't it? Just going to start it up. And you'll see as we're going up the volume on the screen there. So you've got a little display there. Just showing you what the volume is. Now, the beauty of this device is that you can upgrade it. As and when new things arrive for it, it can be upgraded. Uh, to find out the first one that you've got, you just push the file button, which is this one, there. Just trying to get it in focus. There you go. It's that one there. Push it once. Version 1.4, that is the latest version. Doesn't stand there forever, but uh, push it and you get version 1.4 come up. Now, second button from the top, what I'm gonna do, I think I'll just plug this in here and put it up. And hopefully, they get a nice sharp picture for you. So that's there is the one you use to see what version you got. This one here is a sweet rate. I'm just going to start that going now. Now I've got no volume turned up at the moment. But you can see it's quickly scanning through there. What I'm going to do, just slow it down a bit. And you saw that little three come up. Two, one. That's the slowest sweep rate. Now just to hear what it sounds like, this is on FM. That's now the second fastest. Third fastest. That's probably where I like it. That's the fourth fastest speed. You just hit the scan button to stop it again. So let's do a quick session. I'm going to keep it on the uh, four. Lift up the aerial, just a little bit. I'm going to do a quick session. Okay. Hello spirits. 
My name is Richard. I'm just showing the viewers how this works. Perhaps you would like to just um, let me know if you can use this device by saying my name, Richard. I have an animal here with me. Can you tell me what that animal is, please? Okay, well, I'm going to close this uh, down now. I'm going to turn it off. If you want to stay talking to me, you've got to say, Richard, very loud and clearly through that device. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Thank you, spirits. Okay, so I'm just going to rock that down a bit. Bring the aerial back down because um, you don't need that ready for peas in a minute. So there you go. That's what it sounds like. Very, very similar to any other ghost box. Now, I said to you that you can record. Had I wanted to record that session, I would just hit that button there. The whole session would have been recorded. But... You can't hear yourself. So any questions that you ask are not on the recording. So the best thing to do is say, pause it. So ask your question. I have an external device running as well. But ask your question. Hit the record. Leave it running for, I don't know, 30 seconds. Stop it. And you'll hear a playback immediately. So, I'm just going to say that again. I'm just going to start it. I'm not going to put the air up this time. So, spirits, you'll, hear, you'll see me push the record button a minute. Can you just say hello, please, to this device for me? Now you see viewers how the speed has increased when you push record and also get your little SD marked just here. Like off record. So you can't actually hear yourself, but if you had a external recording device, you could know where you were. You could say question one, record it. Question two, record it. That's a, a bit of a downer. I would have liked it better had you been able to do all the other stuff as well. It's different on the EVP, and this is how you set up EVP. By using the menu button, that one there, you turn this up a little bit. You don't have it up too loud, just a little bit. There. Scanning AM. Line in. 
Right, so the next one is going to um, be a playback. Bluetooth. Oh, sorry, blue, yeah, sorry, Bluetooth comes through next. Now it's playback. playback. Gaming FM. So the idea is here, you take it down the playback and then you push record while you're on playback. Just do that. Scanning AM. Line in. Bluetooth. Playback. Okay, viewers. So now what we're doing now is actually doing an EVP session. As you can see, the counter on the device is going up. So um, if, uh, if there's any spirits here who wish to come have a chat to me and you don't want to use the ghost box, can you just shout as loud as you can into this device here? My name is Richard. Please can you say my name for me, Richard? Okay, so when I push playback in a minute, viewers, I'm going to have to wrap up the, um, the volume. Had the volume down low, then you're not going to get no hiss. Back it up when you want to listen to it. Now, as soon as I stop playing, it's going to start playing. Playback. Okay, viewers. So now what we're doing now is actually doing an EVP session. As you can see, the counter on the device is going up. So um, if, uh, if there's any spirits here who wish to come have a chat to me, and you don't want to use a ghost box. Can you just shout as loud as you can into this device here? My name is Richard. Please can you say my name for me, Richard? Okay, so when I push playback in a minute, viewers, I'm going to have to wrap up the, um, the volume. Had the volume down low, then you're not going to get no hiss. Back it up. When you want to listen to it. Now, as soon as I stop playing, it's going to start playing. Okay, viewers. So now what we're doing now. Gaming FM. There we go. I'm just going to turn off the device now. That will then be stored on the memory card. And then uh, to delete it, you'll just go folder. Or if you're already playing it and you didn't want it, you hit that button there. Or if you use the folder button. And that is basically what the S-Box does. It's quite simple. It's nice and convenient. It fits into your pocket quite nicely. And it's rechargeable. Big bonus there. Comes with a torch. As does the... Got no batteries in it, as does the PSB 7. So, um, yeah, I like it. So, I'm going to be taking this out now for a little session someplace. Uh, not quite sure where I've got a few places in, in mind, but um, some of them are still shut, so we had to uh, see if they open. But for now. 
I hope you find that informative. And if you have one of these, make the use of the EVP part because it's really a useful part. It does give you two elements to the same box. So that's all for now and I'll see you again soon. Bye.